So we're here with Dr. Deirdre Gleeson. She's the Secretary of Doctors for Life, and we're very glad to have her share her thoughts on the bill as it's about to be debated in the Dáil tonight. So Dr. Gleeson, thank you for joining us, and we really appreciate your time and all your efforts. Just if you wouldn't mind sharing your own thoughts on the abortion bill itself, its contents, and how it might affect doctors throughout the country. I think our biggest concern at the moment is the conscientious objection that it doesn't go far enough. The wording in the bill is that uh, nurses, midwives and, and medical practitioners don't have to participate, but that doesn't, uh, that doesn't refer or do anything to help the needs of other healthcare workers, such as porters, cleaners, pharmacists. Um, and the word participate, we want that to be changed to facilitate because we don't want to facilitate any medical procedure which is intended to end the life of one of our patients. And that is the definition of termination in the bill it is defined as a medical procedure which is intended to end the life of the fetus and for us when we're treating a pregnant woman we are treating two patients the mother and her unborn baby and we don't want to be involved in any way in any procedure that will end the life of that unborn baby um, so we, the conscientious objection is really important to us at the moment. Uh, that's our priority now, that we want freedom of conscience in how we practice medicine and nursing and midwifery and pharmacy and the other healthcare professionals, and also for people who work in hospitals who aren't qualified, who are cleaners and porters. They shouldn't have to take part in this. They shouldn't have to be cleaning up after this uh, or facilitate an abortion which goes against their conscience in any shape or form. So what will happen is that uh, pro-life pro -life medical students won't go into general practice and they certainly won't go into obstetrics and gynaecology. And we see this in the UK at the moment where they have difficulty recruiting to obstetrics and gynaecology. The only place in the UK where they don't have difficulty recruiting is the north of Ireland where there is no abortion. So, it, you know, that, that seems to tell a story. That's very interesting how you've described to us the situation Irish doctors will now face if they are to maintain their pro-life ethos. Overall, where would you say this leaves the health profession and its integrity in Ireland? I think we're compromised because we became doctors to save life and preserve life and in fact the original Hippocratic oath which is two and a half thousand years old actually has a line in it that says I shall not give a, a woman a pessary to procure an abortion. So we're going against fundamental medical principles. We became doctors and nurses and midwives to save life and preserve life. So this goes against everything that we've trained for, that goes against our, our ethos and our firm beliefs.